Hello everybody, welcome to episode 19 of All The Mods 8. Last time we started working on our auto repair setup over here. Right now, it's working beautifully. There are a few tweaks I want to make. I have gone ahead and also used a little bit of the steep ore miner. What I want to do now is I want to see if I can't use, if we go over here, this dude, right? So I can damage match or yeah, damage match. So let's say I want it to detect a redstone signal when this deep ore miner fit is at 92 durability. This should put a red cell signal yes okay but if we were to let's say use it one more time it should not send out a red cell signal so we should see that here in just a moment it uh no it still <laughs> it still worked yeah no he's detecting that even though the durability is less interesting 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 it should interesting um all right well it looks like we may have to get into a little bit of either maybe modular routers can do it but i doubt it let's let's see what kind of stuff modular router has to offer okay let's try making an inspection filter and we can maybe use modular routers for this uh i don't have an issue with that actually i see a spider eye well let me tell you i should be able to make plenty of those so inspection filter i can add Okay, I think we need a polar module, actually. That seems to be the correct thing we need. Um, let's go ahead and make this dude real quick. I, this is a little gonna be a little difficult because the uh, inventory thing was supposed to work, but it didn't work. So I'm assuming I can put a filter in here. Yes. I'm, I mean, it looks like I can just do this. Match item damage, like if I were to do this. Check the front, right? And this is the polar module. And then I, let's say, put that into here. So now let's say I were to use this one more time. Hey, um, you stop for a second, right? If I were to use this one more time and get rid of one more durability, it shouldn't pull, right? It has to match the durability. Thank you, modular routers, for making this easy for me. Um, so now you're 89, right? So if I put this back into here, you should not be pulled out. Correct. But if I go ahead, go here, change this filter to 89, right? So you should be durability 89. Put this back into here. You should be taken out immediately. Yes. Perfect. That's working. That's exactly what we want. And then can I be push out somewhere? I don't know. I may just need to item pipe this guy. So let's say I just wanted to item pipe him to right here. Let me grab my wrench. Will you move? Yes. He moved into the chest. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. I mean, that's working, right? And then this, we just send to the other room. How do I want to do that? Um, I could just do an ender chest. So you do this, you do this, you need to be on this guy, and it should be working as long as we had damage potions over here, which we don't. <laughs> He'll drop, this should close, you are going to harm him, you have these, right? You're gonna harm him, you're gonna heal him, perfect. And then how much did that actually repair it? Not that much. So we're gonna, one, want this to probably go down to like, once a second. Um... Right, and then we're going to also want this dude probably to be a lot longer. Um, yes, there we go. You should splash potion here in a second. Splash potion. Oh man, it killed him. <laughs> okay, you stop. Um, let's try this again. I might need to move this redstone over a little bit. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Let's try that oh, one more time. I just realized is no matter what, I think he's going to die. Um, cause all what he's being healed is going to go directly into here. That's totally what I just realized. Hmm. No. Okay. In that case, we only need to hit him once. Yes. Cause all the, yeah, wait, no, 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 no. We don't need a timer here. We just want a piece of redstone here. I'm yeah, no, that, that's all we need. Wait, I can keep these in here. That's fine because he's going to get damaged. But then he's not going to heal anything up. That's why he died. And all that he would have healed up is going to go right into here. So if we do this again, that should stop. And he's just going to get healed. This is just going to start healing up. Yes. You should be using your thing. Yes. So this is just getting repaired and durability. That's perfect. Wait. <laughs> that's perfect. That's that's the system, right? And then this can go for however long it needs to go. Um, so you might be running out of that soon. So how much did that repair it? A good decent amount. A decent amount. We can go ahead and extend this for even longer though. Let's say, do we want to do 40, 40 seconds? Um, we could, we could do 40 seconds. 
48 seconds even. Let's do 40 seconds. I think that should be fine. Um, that should be just right here. So this is 40, 48, 56, 64. So let's try this again. Uh, this time, any more demon stream fruit? You know, can I make a pour? I might want a wormhole of some sort actually over here. I know I have one over here though. Um, do I just want to make another one? I might make another one. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll play with it, right? So let's get some demon stream fruit. Let's go ahead and fill this guy back up again. Yes. Okay, perfect. You should have your splash potion. You should be doing this. Let's try this again. Put you in here. He's going to get splashed. This is going to start repairing. And this is going to happen for 40 seconds. So hopefully that's enough for the demon tree fruit to fully repair this guy, right? And like I said, we could do this for any item we want, which is ex perfect, right? So this is going to get fully repaired. Awesome. Let's pretend that uh, this is done. And then now it's set back to one second. And this is fully repaired. Yes. Yeah. No, that that's that's perfect, right? And now we just have to worry about getting this into the other dude over there, which we can just make some more ender chests. So hey, you deposit into here. Oh, does he not like that? Uh, set deposit. Uh, he does not like this chest. Okay. Then in that case, you can stay on here, and then we can just item pipe it out. I don't know why he doesn't like this chest. That's that's weird, isn't it? Huh. Interesting. Whatever. You're gonna go into this dude, right? So not that guy. This dude. Yes. Perfect, and then that we're going to then transport right into here. Yes? So, a little something like this might need to be moved. Um, Because uh, I need him to insert. Can I use the same dude? Can I use a another module? Uh, a sender module, right? I do this with... Hey, let me get my thing, right? With this dude? So you match item damage, and then this can be uh in the same guy, right? So if I do this, grab where's my more or minor or it's right here. Okay, if I do this, and then just pipe him into here, will he cause a problem? Did he go in? He just went in here, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> I did not think about that. Does that mean this is going right now? That that might be what's happening. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just got, you got hurt, didn't you? And then, okay, we'll stop you for now. Um, okay, we need another filter then. Can we just do this with another modular router? I think we could with another polar module. Hear me out on this one. Call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure. Let's grab another one of these. Let's grab another modular router. You're going to laugh at me for this. <laughs> Dude, another one? So that's detecting... Uh, you, if that's, this is going to be the back, the back, if we need the 89 thing again. So we want, shoot, we have this be a blacklist and ban, not a full one. So if it's not full, it's going to take it back, right? So if I put you in here, you should be inserted into here, but you're not being inserted. Why? Why are you not being inserted, bro? Oh, you need to be on down. That's why. Now you worky. No, no, you you still know worky. Oh, whitelist. That is why. Have this on whitelist. He's going to go down here. Boom. And then whenever this gets down to, you know, the whatever durability you had it set as, have this here, uh, the polar module. So that's going to detect, hey, that's not full if it's in here. And it's going to take it out and then it's going to pull it and take it into here. I think that's working. Um, I'm going to put unbreaking on this, though, <laughs> real quick, because I'd rather not use that many splash potions if I don't have to. So if y'all remember, we have this neat little enchanting setup. We can go ahead and we can take out unbreaking. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do this. Put him on here. Maybe you have to unenchant him first. I might have to. I think it has to be unenchanted. Extract the life mending. It did not extract the life mending. Why? Why did it not extract the life mending? <laughs> That's a little silly. I guess we can just do this. That's not that bad. I I'd rather not, but... All right, well, let's uh, let's put this in our room. And this is ores, right? Infinite of them, basically. Yeah, let's put that in there. And now all we have to do is kind of set up or at least finish over here what we started, right? We need, basically, to get... Demon Street Fruit automatically over here, and Splash Potion of Harming automatically over here. I think I'm going to do laser eye nodes, a bunch of them. So you filter instant damage pots, right? You're on insert there. And now we just have to kind of connect this to the system, right? So if I have, I can have another extract card on you. 
So you are on extract. You shouldn't be extracting anything. Okay, good. And then we need to kind of hook this up. <laughs> uh, will you reach... Curious. You, will you reach to here? Yes. And then will you... A chance... What just happened? Uh... I don't know what just happened. I think I know what just happened. He just picked up an item. Yeah. And then it's probably in his inventory right now. Yeah. That is what happened. Okay. We will probably have a filter on this. Um... For items we want. I... We might have to. Right? Yeah. Or like a logistical sorter would be fine right here as well. Just to kind of, just in case something that happens, it just kind of goes here. Or we have the janitor on a whitelist. I think that's the solution. We have a janitor on a whitelist. Yeah, definitely the solution, but we're going to do that in a minute. Um, That's fine. Okay. Anyways, I need to connect this up. So if I do this, will you connect all the way up to here? No. Okay. Then we'll have to... Oh, don't pick that up and do that, because then you're going to do that again, aren't you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, will you connect to here? Then will you connect to here? Yes, so you should be getting splash potions. You're getting potions of healing. Why? Why you get potions of healing? These dudes. Uh, match MBT. That's probably why. Yeah, that's exactly why. Okay, so now you should be only getting harming. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. That did, in fact, fix it. Perfect. Okay. So that means what we just did. <laughs> we just totally automated that. Um, ow. why are you getting more items? Hey, stop that. No more getting items. <laughs> no more. Not right now. So now we just have to insert demon stream fruit, right? So we should be able to do that because we have an extract already on the thing. So if we have an insert here for demon's dream fruit, I need another filter. Uh, here, demon's dream fruit, right? Yes, insert. So this should be getting more. So if I take this out, you should be getting more because if y'all remember, this over here is just extracting everything from our system, right? This extract has no filter. So it's extract. If it sees an insert card, it will insert into there, whatever filter it has. So, I mean, that's that's working, is it not? Right? So we could put life mending on anything we wanted uh, and start repairing it here. Yeah, no, no, we could, we could literally, we could start doing that. <laughs> Uh, do we want to start like getting a list of things we might want to repair? I don't think that's a terrible idea at all. So at the moment, the only thing I can think of is like the chocks I have here. Um, I don't really have anything else that's unbreakable. Maybe like my, my charms right here, but these are probably not going to be used for that much longer. So why don't we go through, let me get some levels. I'm pretty sure I've been like kind of on this world for long enough that we have a stupid amount over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, how much XP is this gonna give me? Enough, a lot, a lot of XP. Okay, 101. I want some life mending. Yes, I'm gonna put on all of my chocks. So whenever I want to repair them, I can just pop over, put them in the thing, and then they get repaired. The only issue, like I said, uh, is we need to filter for the ore miner. The ore miner is only gonna go into here, Right, I don't I don't want the chocks to go into here. So yeah, let's let me go ahead and grab the ore miner real quick so I can make some filters out of him. You stop! Uh this is probably also getting full. We have to deal with this here in a minute. I'm gonna show y'all how. We're gonna set up all of our ore processing today. That is the end goal. Okay, so you need a filter, which I'm pretty sure needs kind of an expensive upgrade. Go ahead, and maybe let's try a logistical sorter with him. So will this do work, maybe? <laughs> That works. Okay, and then you shouldn't take this out. Perfect. Okay, no, that, that works. That's fine. Uh, and then we could just take this out of here. Back into here. And that should go into here because it's not at full durability. Ooh. See, it does that so fast that... I mean, it got repaired, but he was supposed to stay in there. Hold on. It's a little finicky, <laughs> right? Um, Really, really finicky, actually. Do I want to have more pistons? I could, like if I wanted. So if I run this through here, how are you going to behave? You run so fast when you get that item that the piston sometimes doesn't catch you in time. That's interesting. I mean, right now this is repairing, right? That that did not take that long at all. Uh, I could. Uh, you probably already healed, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Okay, but very interesting. You know, I might I might have this not as long, but I mean, still. Hmm. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. I might want to have a second set of pistons here. Maybe like push him back? I don't know. Let's give this another run. 
let's put purple chuck in. That one works fine, right? And then you're going to heal up. No, I, I think it's working, actually. No, I think this is fine. This is working really nicely, actually. The only issue is we can only have one thing in here at a time. But, I mean, this is still working beautifully. Uh, I should have my golden chalk right over here. Yes. Oh, why are you not going through? Do I need to change the filter? Delete this. New filter. Item stack. Save. And then you should be taken out. Yeah, I think it matches the MBT there. Then you do the same thing. He gets suffocated a little bit. Yeah, I may want to have some more sticky pistons just to prevent this. All right, so we're going to test something here. I've kind of made a little change. Are you going to pathfind out of there? I don't like you for that, bro. I don't like you for that. You need to stay put. <laughs> uh, block this off again all the way, right? This guy's got to stay put exactly where he belongs. Okay, perfect. Right, this should be working if I go ahead, put this dude here. He's going to go directly there. Yes, we need to find something to repair again. <laughs> we could just test, we could just put an item here. Uh, is there anything I could possibly want to repair? So I probably want, I'm probably going to want an in chest, but let's go ahead. You, is that pushed down? So he should not be pathfinding. You should be repairing. I did not hear a splash potion. I turned off the timer. Oh, I messed up. No, that signal was supposed to just be, dang it. All right, third time is the charm, right? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Once again, I need to find something I could put life bending on and possibly repair. Next is, do I have two flint and steel slots in here? I do. <laughs> Why do I have that? Um, we could put life bending on my axe. A little bit of this going on and a little bit of this going on. This should not take long at all. It's already done. <laughs> it's already done. Cool, that was that did not take long at all actually. Um put these all into here. Now we have life bending three. Perfect. Let's try this one more time. Now that I fixed it completely. So let's say it goes through here. I just picked it up. <laughs> Why did I just pick it up? I don't know. You go through here. You have comparator. You're gonna do that thing. And you should be repairing. Uh you did not pick it up because you're not on blacklist. There we go. Now if I did it again, he would repair because I had him on Oopsie daisy. Let's speed this process up. Hold on. All right. Take number two. You should do your thing. You should be healing. Uh, it should be working. Are you out of demon stream fruit? No, you might just have a lot of durability. <laughs> no, no. Okay. No, he's healing up. This thing just has a lot of durability. Apparently interesting. Interesting. Yeah, no, he's healing up. This guy's going right. We might want some more speed upgrades for him, but I mean, yeah, why don't we make a little more speed upgrades for him? So it's just a little bit faster on that. Uh, and you're fully repaired. Yeah, no, I think I think this is working, guys. I'm pretty proud of this. So now we just need an input chest. Um, which I can do a little bit of laser IO going on. <laughs> Might have to be ugly. I could fix this around real quick. Yeah, but then I have to move the transporter, dude, which I don't super duper want to do. Um, this is fine. It's not the worst in the world. I I can I I can get over it. <laughs> So something like this, you, I need import, you are outport. And I am okay with going in and seeing it. That's fine with me. This looks kind of terrible. We'll fix this up in the future. Don't, don't worry guys. Okay. So if I wanted to repair this dude, he should be taken out. Uh, oh, I need an insert card, don't I? I do. I do need an insert card. You need an insert card. Yes, you're on insert. That worked, but I totally picked up the thing, but that's fine. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, just in case that ever happens again, let's like cover all this up. So whenever that's done, whenever like the 40 or so seconds is done, we should be good. Um, yeah, we should be sitting pretty awesome. Perfect. I could probably decrease this a little bit, uh, but I'm, I'm okay with 40 seconds. It's not that long of a wait. Yeah, that's fine. Because just in case. Yep. Perfect. So whenever that's done, we should see it come right into this dude. Yes. So boom, there's my X. Awesome. And then, yeah, no, that, that's, that's, that's working guys. That is indeed working. Perfect. Okay. Very much happy with this. Um, yeah. All right. Well, now I guess this is done. We have auto repairing. 
we can start working on ore processing. So ore processing, we don't have that much left to do. Uh, I just want to do a little bit of fortuning going on the ores. So, hey, all of this brick. I'm done. I'm done with this setup for right now. Um, I don't know what this is all about. Uh, but you break again. All of this needs to be gone. Let me grab my axe. Now that has life ending on it, I can just repair it whenever I want. Everything go away. <laughs> Go away, go away. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. All of it just needs to be ripped out. We want another modular router. Uh, can I give it my all the money? I don't think I can. That stinks. I'm not gonna lie. All right, maybe a little bit of integrated dynamics is in order here. Modular routers, I'm sorry. I believe we have finally gotten to the end of our use with it. I guess why don't we get into a little bit of integrated dynamics? It's not hard to get into. It's the logic and stuff that kind of makes it a little more difficult. Let's get into a little bit of integrated dynamics. So this mod is pretty cool. We're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need some, we're gonna need some mineral though. Do I have any mineral? I have a little bit. We can just hopper botany pot this, which I believe I have an extra one, right? Can I hopper botany pot this? As a matter of fact, I can. Okay, perfect. That's that's good. I believe I have an extra one right over here. As a matter of fact, I do. Check that out. We might want to make a mechanical squeezer. <laughs> yeah, let's make a mechanical squeezer. How hard is this dude to make? We just need a few. Of the that's a lot of crystallized mineral. We do not have that, so we're probably going to have to find a biome. Right, so can I get my doohickey? Maybe we need to use the mineral resin for something. Yes, okay, that is how we do it. Okay, I, me being stupid, right? So we need to use the mineral resin. How do I get that stuff again? With a normal squeezer with some of the wood? So can I get a squeezer? This is gonna be a little tedious. So I do this, this, do a little bit of this going on. And we should, yes, there we go. There's the mineral resin we so desperately need. Let's grab some. I may need to pipe it up, but now what we do with this mineral resin is, can I get some resin? We may want to automate this. We want to automate, yeah, let's just automate this actually. Do we think it'll fit in here? Cause it's kind of like a liquid thing. <laughs> it'll fit in here, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm assuming I can do this. Can I? I can. Okay, perfect. So that should start drying the mineral resin. Um. Not sure how long that's going to take, but we will find out. Oh, and I can get a bucket of it. Okay, cool. Takes seven and a half seconds. Oh, there we go. Sweet. So I have my block of crystallized mineral. <laughs> uh, and then I can start to like make a mechanical one of these and whatnot. I first want to make a mechanical squeezer. All right, so we have a whole bunch of crystallized mineral. Can I upgrade this dude now? I feel like I should be able to. Uh, I just have to make some of these. All right, can I do this now and then turn you into the mechanical squeezer? What am I missing? The squeezer. That would make sense. So this guy is just squeezing, but with power. Um, yeah, that's that's exactly what's happening. So I need to just link up some cables to him. And then now this should make my life a whole lot easier. I should be able to just do this and he's going to start squeezing into mineral resin and crystallized mineral chunks. So this is already kind of automated, but we can automate it even further by doing this, right? So we're also going to get the drying basin upgraded. Yeah, there we go. So now you're mechanical wheat. Okay, we can go and move this guy now then. Oh, you require a pickaxe now. Fancy. Auto eject. Yes, pushing into here. So that, yeah, <laughs> pretty sure that's what that's for. So we should be able to just do this. And then if I wanted some more mineral logs, these guys do this. You should automatically eject into here. You're getting mineral resin. Oh, wow, that's really fast. That is really, that is really fast. <laughs> this is automated, right? Uh, we can just put this in here whenever we want. I don't think we super need that much right now. So can I do this as well? All right. Anyways, back on track. We want a bunch of stuff. Um, we're gonna want to start with some variable cards. We need paper. We need. That means we need sugar cane. Oh, but we're starting to get sugar cane. Finally. Okay. Let's get. We're probably gonna want a lot of paper. Um, we're gonna want some variable cards. Twenty four should be fine for what we need, right? We're going to want a wrench. We're probably going to need a labor, labeler. Um, do I just want to try to make this? <laughs> oh, we need some of these. Oh, these are a little bit different. Uh, popped chorus fruit and the mechanical squeezer, huh? So let me craft all of this and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, player simulator. This guy, I know we're probably going to want, I think we need a logic programmer for him. It is picking up items. Uh, I'm not sure where they're going. Did you guys?
guys see that? <laughs> I believe I figured it out finally. So, oh, this took me a very long time to figure out. Okay. This was a little hard. Will the fortune work? Let's see. Um, I'm gonna show you how it works in just a second. I just wanna see if the fortune works. Oh, it totally does. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, that works. Let's go take this out. Let me explain what's going on here. So this mod is very complicated. <laughs> Stupid complicated. Um, anyways. So what I have going on here, uh, don't worry about this isn't that important, but I'll explain it in a second. I have this player simulator that's clicking with what the variable card is telling it to click with, i.e. the Aldamodium pickaxe, which I'm setting via this inventory reader and materializer. So I have it set to, if I have it in here, slot item. So that's what this is. If item is in slot one, that's the variable ID. Uh, if I put that here, I can set a variable card to it, right? So yeah, that, that's all that's doing. And then I'm setting this to click with the item, continuous click with the item, all the body and pickaxe if it is, and I need this to be attached to my network, which is what this item interface does. So put this in here, it's gonna use this pickaxe to mine items in front of it. That's basically the gist going on. It also hurts, <laughs> hurts a lot. But anyways, that's working, right? That, I could just take this out for now so it doesn't hurt me. Um, Super basic integrated dynamic setup nothing too super duper complicated so what i'm gonna do now is i want to take most of the ores from here and actually fortune them before i crush them right what i might do though is i might just try to stick with like the dust and whatnot how are you doing you're doing pretty good pretty good i might you still have so much durability <laughs> i mean wow that's kind of crazy anyways let's uh let's get back to it so block Placer is probably what we're gonna want. I probably have some of those. In fact, I do. We can just put this here. Um, yes. And then we can have an item exporter here. How do I want to do this? I don't want to have it break just all the items. I just want to break some of them. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab one of the transported dudes that I made. You. You are want. I want you to have whitelist. We're gonna do like iron. We can do diamond. We can do stuff like this. Oh, there we go. It's working. I decided to do ore instead. So he should just pick up all the ore <laughs> and we're going to fortune it, right? So none of this clay or anything. So you, I just need to put this all the money and pickaxe in here and he should start mining this coal. No? Yes. There he goes. Look at him. He's mining it. Uh, and then we can have this, you're a janitor, right? You, I, I can keep here. So you should be placing these ores. Yes. Uh, did he just move magma? No. Yeah, no, this guy should be working, yes. Now, you know what I could do? Actually, we could use integrated dynamics for this. We could do, we could make a world item importer. This is so janky. We could just do pick up all items. Uh, That's fine. We don't need a filter on this, I don't think. So pick up all item entities on true and he should pick up items. Yes, so he just picked up that item and it went to here, okay. We're going to want an item exporter into another chest. We can do a chest like over here. Yes. Yeah, we can do a chest. Let's say right in front of here. We can have the item exporter for now right here. Let's go ahead and hook this dude up. You I'm going to want on a filter like we don't want everything to go out of here. Like we don't want our all the money and pickaxe to come out of here. Though we could have set a whitelist, actually. That might not be a bad idea. We could set a whitelist. Do I have an extra this? This guy. We can whitelist this guy. So export items. Yes. You. And you're gonna export the all body and pickaxe. No. Export item. I think he just picked it up. All body and pickaxe, you can go back in here. You should start breaking again. And now we want this along pickaxe. If I export item, it should export into here, but I want this to be on blacklist. So it should export everything but the all the mod and pickaxe. And it should keep breaking this coal. That looks like to be what's happening. So coal should go into here. Yes. Guys, that's automated into fortune right there. I'm a uh, lot of y'all. I don't know why clay is going in here. Um, that's a little odd. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but that's fine. It's not it's not the end of the world. Let's go ahead. Let's have another transporter, dude. I should have another one. 
You are going to grab all of the, let's say, raw stuff from into here. Oh, oops, from extract from here. You, you didn't pick anything up, did you? I don't think you did. And you're going to deposit it into our crusher. So if we get coal out of here for a minute, please. So if we got iron in here, he should mine that. Yes. So he's mining the iron. Our world item importer is going to pick it up. He's picking up everything, right? He's going to export it into here and then he should give it to him. Perfect. Yes, that is exactly what's going down. What's your name? Something you I want to deposit. What is going on with him? Do I need like a wall <laughs> to, to block him? And he shouldn't be able to get through it. And then this little guy should be able to get through it. Yeah. All right. So we're getting dust in here and everything else is probably is going to go into here, right? So let me have another transporter. This transporter, what have you done? What are you? You, I don't know what you just did. Um, I think he put it into here. So I want you, actually, if you were to extract and deposit into here, I want you to blacklist and don't pick up anything with raw in the name. So like the raw iron. So he should pick up these clay balls and whatnot and this redstone, but let's say we got some copper and we did some copper instead of whatever we're doing right now. So he shouldn't pick up this copper. Correct. So the copper should be just going into this guy. So I shouldn't see any raw copper in my system. I, I see a little bit. I think I don't think that's from this. So if I it's going in here, right? Put him in here. I shouldn't see any raw copper in my system. Correct. OK, that means this is working then. OK. Nope, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we're I think that's done like with fortune and everything We just have to get this stuff over to the furnace Which there's so many transporters. What are you doing? I know everyone's doing something. I just have to get this stuff out of here Uh, You oh, do I need another transporter? I may need another transporter <laughs> So we go and make another transporter real quick. So while that guy is summoning I'm gonna quickly just explain this one more time so this guy is clicking with the item all the modium pickaxe and it can only click with this item while it's in the system. So this item interface, it uh, puts an item into the system so it can take this item, quote unquote, because it's in the system and mine with it. And then I don't like that blocks are flying everywhere. Can I prevent that somehow? Hey, what if, what if we didn't fly everywhere, guys? <laughs> Me want a janitor. Uh... I don't know, but I think I just fix it. it. Should be fine. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. You are clicking with the item all the money and pickaxe, which is mining with it. Yes, and then you are picking up all items. So a blank variable card in one of these just means boolean is true. So pick up all items true, and then we are exporting everything but an all the money and pickaxe into this chest, right? And this item importer, I don't think I need. Uh, no, I don't. I don't need this item importer here. I don't know why it's here. This is using the automatic pickaxe from here. Why is, why are items going everywhere? That's my one concern with this. Like items are kind of flying everywhere and I'm not, not the biggest fan of it. Um, but I mean, for the most part, this is working. Hey, is my transporter done? You are done. Where is your book? Is this you? Yeah, that is you. You are going to go over here. You were going to transport items from here into the furnace. Yes. Are we cool with that? And then you can... I need power to him again. You should get be getting power. You, I'm going to just uh, reset all these. You're going to auto output out the front. And he should, since iron ingots and whatnot aren't going to have rot in their name, should just import it to the system. So you are going to deposit into here, extract from here. So we should... I think you might be in the way getting items in here if i have input on left i'm not quite sure we may just have a little chest buffer here because he's being a little funky which you know what we can just do actually we don't need this guy actually we don't we don't need him hold on we just need the janitor uh which janitor you are the janitor we can have him instead of depositing to where he is now um this may prove to be a little difficult I have this dude here you deposit into this side instead and have auto input on left so what's happening now is we are taking the items we're melting here or crushing we're putting them this here and we're auto importing them into this furnace then we're taking them out smelting them putting them into this chest which what in the world is going on with these items you know what i might do is get an item collector 
decrease range, decrease range, decrease range. So now he just picks up picks up items from here. We might not need this guy. <laughs> but it's cool to have anyway. So just in case, right, this should be good. Uh, and then we can item import off of this guy, I'm pretty sure. Can I put a chest like to the side of you? Will you work? I don't think so. I think it has to be on the bottom. If I did, in that case, let's set it right here, right? Do this, do this, do this. Show range. And he's picking up items from, see, I would kind of, would kind of like it to go a little further, but I think this is fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't think we're going to get items over here that much. This is automated ores, guys. Like, fortuned and everything. And the auto repairing of this guy, which is going to take a long time, so I think we're good there. Oh, I did need that other transporter to get all this stuff. Are you full? Why are you not transporting ores? You cannot get to it. That is why. If I did this, you should work again. I don't like that you're jumping up. If I had you extract from the top instead, would you be fine? No, you wouldn't be fine. Ugh. Here's my solution. I'm going to put a chest here. You're this dude, right? Have you just extract from here instead? And we can get rid of this chest. Yes. All the ores go into here. And we should be sitting pretty. There we go. Just a little bit of pathing issues. Their the pathing's not the greatest. Anyways, that's what we're doing. You should be moving all that stuff over. Yes. You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. You're getting redstone. Perfect. We're getting some raw ingot. Like, perfect. Thumbs up on this. Now what I'm going to do is I need to just get a transporter to whitelist some of these items that we want to pick up. So you, what are you doing? I want you to stop what you're doing. You're going to extract from this guy, right? But you're going to be on blacklist for ores. So you're not going to pick up any ore. Yes. And then you are going to, which one's you? Uh, I think you're this guy. Yes. And you are going to deposit just into, I think here and here. Now is he working? Yes, yeah, so if I were to put cobblestone in here, he should walk around, deposit it into here. If I were to put this cable into here, he should do the same thing. I should see that cable right in my system. Perfect. Now, how are things getting in my system, actually? Uh, I think I have another transport over here, don't I? Is it you? I think it's you. No, it's not you. I don't know who's doing it. Um, <laughs> I think it is this guy who's putting it all into here. Okay, no, yeah, that, that is how that's working. So stuff that goes in here goes into my system. Guys, look at this. This is... Whew. A lot of time later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, so this integrated dynamics work. This integrated dynamics setup is working. I didn't want to put too much of it on camera just because it was a little complicated and boring. If y'all want to learn more about it, join my Discord server and I'll just explain it to you there if you ask. Anyways, that is very much all the time I have today. So if y'all did enjoy, please hit the like button down below. If you want to see more all the mods eight, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow or in the next few days depending on how busy I am for even more modded Minecraft. Later.